Hi everybody, uh, Joy Choden here. Um, hi everybody, uh, Joy here. Progressive, I'm uh, Progressive. I, uh, I am the founder of the Moonlighting Renew campaign and the DVD campaign. Thank you so much for joining me uh, with the pre-show for our very fun live viewing party for I think one of the best episodes of the third season, a wonderful, it's a wonderful job inspired by It's a Wonderful Life. So I'm just going to check to make sure that, um, that we're live. Just want to check and make sure we're live here. Okay, so we're live. All right, so I'm going to wait for you guys to join. Let's see if we can see. Okay, um, so I'm going to start the tarot reading in a few minutes. Okay, so, um, all right, guys, so. I'm going to do a live tarot reading asking, we've had quite a year as Moonlighting fans. Uh, thank you so much everybody for uh, being a part of this group. Uh, it was founded by Susan Lupi, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Um, and um, in partnership with Diana Mayoko, one of my dear friends. Um, so it's it's the group has our group has really really grown this year i think we've gained over 500 members this year so thank you so much uh for being a part of our group uh where we are where we celebrate every day our our favorite show our favorite detectives <laughs> maddie hayes and david addison and uh and the the, the show has had quite a year uh, with the show finally being able to stream and uh, on Hulu and it's been streaming since October 10th and it's been doing very nicely so uh, and I think we are going to I can't go into detail but I think we're gonna have some really fun stuff uh, coming up in this group for you guys uh, next year so stay tuned for those announcements uh, I think you know you'll hear something you know, within the first few months of next year. So um, we've got some fun stuff planned and um, just trying to, we're going to continue to try to be creative and try to make this group as fun and interactive as, as we can. So the question I'm going to ask uh, the tarot cards and I'm also going to um, pull an oracle card. And this is our last live viewing party of the year and like I said we're we're ending it with a heck of a great episode so um, one of my favorites um, absolutely love this episode so powerful uh, really digs into uh, Maddie's psyche and um, you know kind of tells us that you know yeah, on the, you know, kind of on the surface with what Maddie and David say to each other, especially Maddie, you know, that, you, you know, there's more hate than love, but with between them, but really, you know, they are, they are deeply connected to each other. And Maddie actually knows that, I think, when she says, you know, if people, if two pe if people are meant to be together, they'll find each other no matter where, no matter how, when she, when she talks to, you know, to the angel. Um, really in fear, you know, of realizing that, you know, 
I think she really she knows she's screwed up big time <laughs> um, with taking David and and Agnes and and the, the 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 agency for granted, taking her life for granted, and what really she her life was going to be um, if she uh, didn't embrace you know doing the detective agency with David. So my question is, what is coming for Moonlighting? Uh, next year. What's going to be happening for Moonlighting, the TV series, in 2024? I did a reading earlier uh, in, on Halloween. I did a reading asking if the show would stream uh, outside of the U.S. And it looked like to me that it's going to be in the works and um, and that it, they're going to be working on it. Disney's going to be working on it, and I think maybe towards you know half you know the other half of the year, maybe in the summer, uh, we might be hearing something that the show will stream outside of the U.S. But I think it's going to take it's going to take a while, or towards the end of next year. But I think it will happen. But let's see what else the cards have to say. Um, a big you know I think you know sadly Bruce is very very sick. And, um, and, and, and that seems to be the driving, you know, force that has been pushing all of this. I think that this is pushed, this pushed Glenn to have the show stream finally. And that is what is pushing everybody wanting to see the show again and, and reliving, you know, one of Bruce's best, in my opinion, it's his best role, but reliving one of his best roles and the role that made, you know, that started it all for him. So, so let's see what the cards have to say here. I just want to see if any of you are, hi everybody, thanks, uh, just checking there. Oh, thank you so much, Danielle, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's a, uh, thank, uh, hi Christy, hi. Uh, Oh, thank you, Ari. Thank you, sweetie. Ari, Ari is my boyfriend. <laughs> we, we are. He's, he's my, he's my, he's my better half. Um, in case you guys don't know, he's a, a wonderful man, and I'm so lucky to have him in my life. Um, so, um, all right. So let's start this. Let's start this reading. All right, so what is going to be happening for Moonlighting in 2024? Let's see. Let's see what the cards have to say here, all right? I'm going to use the, uh, the movie tarot deck. Unfortunately, we don't have a Moonlighting tarot deck. I hope we do in the future. I will snatch it up. Um, hopefully, somebody will make it. But until then, we ha I have to use what, what, what uh, inspires me um, with the energy that we're asking here. All right, so what is going to be happening for Moonlighting the TV series in 2024? What is going to be happening for Moonlighting the TV series in 2024? And as you can see, I have my TV paused, ready to watch, <laughs> ready to watch a wonderful job with uh, me and Christy are going to watch it together live. So. Um, I've got it all ready. My TV is paused in the background <laughs> to watch it. Um, all right, so what is going to be happening for Moonlighting in 2024? Let's see what comes out here. Let's see what comes out here. All right. All right, so four cards came out. So we have the first card that came out was the Knight of Pentacles. This is about uh, financial stability. Um, it can mean standing on your own, on your own terms, uh, but really being uh, financially stable, materially stable. So Moonlighting will be, uh, it will continue to do well. Um, streaming, it will t uh, continue to draw interest. Uh, it will t continue to, to bring in um, all, you know, fans that watched it originally and it will continue to bring in new fans. Um, and let's see, okay, Page of Swords. So there's going to continue, pages are the youngest energy in the court cards. There uh, is the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And pages is the, is the earliest, youngest energy. 
Um, it can also be a, a messenger. Page, pages can be a messenger as well. Um, but this is a kind of a new way of thinking about the show uh, and new communication uh, about the show. So that could mean, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles and the, and the Page of Swords that uh, yeah, maybe the show will, um, will will stream next year outside the U.S. and maybe other um, maybe it'll it'll be picked up in some other ways too. Um, maybe the DVDs will you know maybe maybe it'll go on Blu-ray or something or maybe that'll be in the works that they want to try to get it on Blu-ray or something or maybe it'll maybe Amazon will want to also pick it up you know and and have it you know available. Um, or YouTube, uh, but maybe some other streaming services may be thinking about picking it up as well. We have the Six of Wands. So this is about um, victory and uh, being in the public eye. So Moonlighting will be in the public eye. Uh, there has been a lot of articles, a lot of great articles, a lot of them we've shared uh, here in this group. There's been a lot of articles uh, written about Moonlighting, and it's been praised, and it's got, you know, 98% on Rotten, 98, 99% rating on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, which is remarkable. So it's going to be in the public eye. And then we have the Eight of Wands, and this is fast communication. This is fast moving energy. So there, there is going to be there is going to be some some uh, fast moving energy. There's going to be some fast stuff happening for moonlighting. Obviously, like I said, I can't say anything else. But we, um, you know, hopefully, I, I think you know we might have some fun things coming uh, in this group for you guys. And um, you know, and I, you know, I think. Uh, you know, who knows, you know, I mean, you know, Curtis had tweeted right away that, um, you know, he was excited to talk about, you know, the show. So maybe, you know, maybe, maybe Curtis will, you know, do some interviews or Elise or Sybil, you know, will go get in the media and, you know, talk up the show more. And especially if the show streams outside the U.S., you know, maybe they'll do some press and, you know, stuff like that. And on the bottom of the deck is the hangman. So this is about, the hangman is about um, seeing things in a new perspective and, um, and also just kind of, you know, hanging around and just seeing, you know, leaving things as it is. Uh, so there will be a new perspective in the way that moonlighting is seen and thought about. Obviously, that, that's already been happening. Uh, you know, the whole, um, sorry, stupid moonlighting curse um, you know, that the, the falsehood that, you know, for years and years and years, the show was saddled with the moonlighting cars um, that, you know, that if, if, a, if a couple gets together uh, physically, romantically on, on a show, um, that, that, it'll, that it'll jump the shark. And obviously over the years, that's been proven wrong by a lot of different shows. So... And, and, and over the years, you know, I, people now, I think, it, I, th I think it's pretty much dead, the Moonlighting Curse, you know. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> because it was one of the m more negative things that was, set, you know, um, sh holding the show down. So, already we have this energy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify the cards, which is, you know, taking another deck and asking to see if we can get some more energy and i like to we like to use as tarot readers we like to use a second an entirely different second deck to see if the same energy will come out see the same cards will come out just to kind of confirm yes this is definitely the energy that the universe the message that the you know, universe is trying to give us so uh, we have about 15 minutes so i'm going to Speed this up. Let's see. Let's see what this Nine of uh, Pentacles is. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. All right. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is one of the cards that, you know, really, when I did the reading uh, that you can watch on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, Progressive Tarot, this is one of the cards that really gave me the hint of when, if Moonlighting was going to stream in 2023. And um, this is all about um, taking care of your resources, your material goods, 
And um, so there's, there is going to be money put into moonlighting. There's going to be work put into moonlighting again in 2024. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe press. Yeah, maybe press, Danielle. I think so. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You like my nails. Thank you. I'm constantly doing my nails now because I do, I do, um, you know, I, I try to put out one or two uh, videos on YouTube and TikTok for my tarot readings every week now. So I'm constantly want to have good looking nails. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Danielle. Thank you. Um, so, all right, so let's see. So let's continue. All right, so Queen of Pentacles. There's going to be a lot of work. There's going to be money invested. It's going to be work put into moonlighting in 2024, which makes me think, I think we're going to see moonlighting uh, start to stream uh, outside of the U.S. All right, so clarifying the Page of Swords, we got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, that's what we want to see. That's a brand new beginning in money, in projects, in material goods. That's what we want to see. With this page of swords, so with this new communication, this new way of thinking about moonlighting, this brand new beginning here um, for moonlighting. And that, that's what, King of Swords. All right, and we're ha we have progression here with communication from a page of swords to the master of communication, uh, the, the, king of so the king of swords. So this is very good. And we even have the Knight of Swords. So, and this is very fast moving communication, fast moving uh, mental process with the Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. There is some loss and uh, some kind of being left out in the cold here. Um, so maybe again, you know, that Five of Pentacles is there because with the show streaming outside the U.S., the music is still going to be not perfect like, you know, we wanted. Um, so that's my guess with the Five of Pentacles. Let's see what this um, Six of Wands is. Clarify the Six of Wands. Let me see what else about this Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Let's see. Clarify the Six of Wands. Let's see what else comes out here. Show me the dominant energy. Oh, my deck is going crazy. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Sometimes the uh, the deck goes crazy with the energy here. Um, I think I got them all. Sorry about that. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Okay. Okay, Eight of Cups. There's going to be a sort of walking away energy here. Um, hmm. Eight of, or walking towards something. Again with this loss with the Five of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. There's going to be, in, there's going to be uh, seeds planted... Um, with the seven of pentacles and some kind of you know investment ten of wands so this is about heavy burdens taking on a lot um, so with the six of wands um, so there's, there's a victory here but there's also a, a kind of walking away from some kind of loss uh, but seeds being planted okay and then let me see what this Eight of Wands is. Let me see what this Eight of Wands is. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Let me see what this Ace of Eight. It's more towards. That's more towards the end of the year, uh, with this fourth card, with this fourth energy. So let's see what this Eight of Wands. What is this fast moving communication? This fast moving energy. What is this? Let me see the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Clarify the Eight of Wands. My cards are being very temperamental tonight. <laughs> the energy is... Sometimes the cards just don't want to say anything out. You know, the cards just don't want to come out any more than they already are. So it might just be, you know, there's going to be a lot of fast-moving communication, a lot of fast-moving energy next year, especially towards the end of the year, which could mean, like I said, probably the show will start to come out outside the U.S. to stream. 
So let's see. Give me another second here. Eight of Wands. Is there anything else the universe wants to say here? Any other energy that wants to come out? Doesn't look like it. All right, so that's the true energy. The cards do not want to have anything else come out. I'm, I'm going to take it as with the bottom of the deck here is the world card. Stopping the, the, uh, the you know, shuffling the cards. This is what's on the bottom of the deck. And this is what I expected to see. So this means that Moonlighting will go global. And uh, the world card is also the end of a major cycle as well. And I think that that might be, you know, the major cycle is that the show was not being able to watch. We weren't able to watch it before. So I'm going to take that as, um, you know, that we have this world card here and this fast-moving energy. So uh, Moonlighting is going to be on the minds of, you know, of every, of, uh, glo globally next year uh, as well. And I just want to take a really quick... Um, moment to show you guys my lovely mug uh this is the christmas uh, mug uh, from our uh, shops on uh, redbubble and zazzle and also i have the beautiful um coasters that you can get on zazzle with the uh with the clock um inspired by the pilot these gorgeous designs that were designed by my good friend Christy Taylor. So I'm going to um, leave you guys off with one more message and I'm going to use the Moonology, I think that's appropriate, Oracle cards. Oh, thank you so much, Diana. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted it to be... Um... Oh, Donna, you're a tarot reader also. Cool. Okay, nice. All right. Yeah, yeah, Donna, I know. I yeah, kind of don't want to say that. Um, yeah, I hope it, it, it doesn't have to do with losing Bruce as well. There, you know, the Five of Pentacles did come out um, twice, uh, you know, in this reading. We haven't had, we haven't had the Death card, but the World card also can mean the end of a major cycle. Um, so I hope, I hope not, but I have to say that the last reading, uh, the one that I did on Halloween that you guys can watch, I believe it's still in the, um, uh, pinned up on top of the, uh, the group. It, it, I was very, that concerned me a lot that the energy looked, it looked dark. Um, you know, and I think that, yeah, I, I, I hope, I pray not, but the energy looked like maybe, you know, it, it's going to be getting much worse uh, with Bruce next year. So I hope not. But, yeah. Uh, but we don't have the death card here. We don't have a ten of swords here. So, you know, hopefully not. Um, but, yeah, um, the five of pentacles does concern me. It does, Donna. All right. So let's see. I'm going to get, I want to get one, um, one, one more message. One message for all of us about moonlighting in 2024. What can you tell us? All right. So we got two cards here, and we have the North Node, and that is step out of your comfort zone. Interesting. Okay. And we have. Okay. We have have faith in your dreams. The waxing crescent moon. And that is very, you know, that's, we see the crescent moon for moonlighting a lot. So, and then on the bottom of the deck is a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. Very nice. Okay. So, that is a very nice way to end the reading. And it does also look like a blue moon, doesn't it? It looks like a blue moon, doesn't it, guys? So, oh, uh, yes, I know I love the Moonology cards. Yes, I, that's one of my first Oracle cards, Donna, that, um, that I got. And, um, yeah, definitely um, feel free. Um, I'm I'll give you my uh, link so you can check out 
my website and my YouTube. Please uh, follow me, guys, on my YouTube channel, Progressive Tarot, and I am also on TikTok as well. So let me, I'm going to give you the link for, is the link for my YouTube channel. And, uh, and then my TikTok. And uh, now until January 2nd, guys, all of my reading packages, all my tarot reading packages are 50% off. Um, I'm celebrating my one year anniversary with uh, my channel Progressive Tarot. Uh, so if you use the coupon one year, this is my TikTok. This is my TikTok right here. And I will give you my website as well. So if you use the coupon one year, uh, you can book any of my readings for 50% off. And if you're looking for guidance in, um, in career, in relationships, um, in, uh, you know, in trying to figure out your path in, you know, what success looks like for you, um, or just trying to make, you know, a, an important decision in your life. A link for the merch? Yes, I'll give you that too, Donna, absolutely. It is um, pinned to the, it's, it, they're pinned to, I'll, I'll, um, I'll respond to you. Um, it's pinned to the, to the top of uh, of the page uh, of our of our group, and I will give you the link for that as well. We have uh, we have it on Redbubble, and Redbubble I believe is more um, internet that is um, located internationally, and. Um, and then Zazzle, I believe, is located in the U.S. And, um, and then Zazzle, I believe. All right, so that's the red bubble, and then I will give you the Zazzle as well. And uh, I think, you know, I've been talking to Christy, and uh, I think we may do some new designs in the new year, so look out for that as well. And here's the Zazzle. Donna, thank you so much. All right, guys. Well, um, it's almost show time for a wonderful job. I, I myself watch every single year both Moonlighting episodes. It's a tradition for me. Uh, Twas the episode before Christmas and a wonderful job. So thank you so much for joining us and tune in. Uh, tune in for the the post show as well with Danielle. Thank you so much, guys, and I'd like to wish you a happy holidays and a very happy, healthy, wonderful new year. Thank you, guys.